Hey guys, and welcome to our 12 days of Thanksgiving. I am so excited to be here with you guys this morning. Um, my name is Jennifer Hines, and I'm a health and fitness coach. Um, I am also a mom of two young kids, uh, Ben and Zoe, I'm also a physical therapist by trade. So I am going to be the first one up today, and I am doing kind of a clean eating, um, healthy, Thanksgiving appetizer. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I like to plan ahead. I like to have things ready to go. So this is definitely an appetizer that you can um, make ahead, um, put out as your guests are arriving, and just enjoy and greet your guests as they come in. Um, that's kind of how I envision the perfect party going. Everything's on the table, kind of re ready for people as they come in. They can kind of grab an appetizer as we're talking, and I get a glass of wine. Um, so that's kind of how I like to entertain. I like it to be ready up front um, before my guests get here and just make it super easy. Um, and this is clean eating. So um, for those of you that aren't familiar with clean eating, clean eating just pretty much means um, not processed food. So what I am making is um, an endive kind of stuffed or topped with some goat cheese, um, dried figs, honey, um, and a little bit of cracked pepper. And I also added um, some pecans and um, pomegranate seeds. Now the recipe, the picture um, is beautiful, um, but I, at Publix, all they had was the white or kind of green endive, so I don't have the pretty purple one. Um, you could probably find that at Whole Foods or a different type of grocery store. So I'm going to show you my ingredients first, and then I'll dive right into the recipe. So you've got your endive. This is what it looks like. This is a little bit smaller because I've already got some made. Um, and you just peel the leaves off. Um, did a little research about making sure I was cleaning it correctly, and endive is actually grown in sand. So you just need to wipe it down. You don't need to soak it like you do lettuce. Um, so you just kind of wipe it down the outside leaves and it's all good to go. You just kind of peel it apart like that. Um, other thing in the recipe is raw honey. So all this I got at Publix for those of you that um, live in the South or, or have a Publix nearby. So this is raw honey. Um, looked up what raw honey is compared to regular honey. And raw honey just means that it hasn't been processed. It hasn't been heated. It hasn't been pasteurized. Um, it is kind of straight out of the beehive. Um, this one is a little bit clearer than some of the other ones I saw in the grocery store. Um, but so we got raw honey, pepper, we got some pomegranate seeds. I found these in the little produce um, section near kind of where the watermelons, cherries, grapes are in Publix. We've got our pecans and um, some dried figs. Okay, so these are in my little bowls down here. Now the recipe does not call for the pecans and the um, pomegranates. I added that myself, so just make sure when you print out the recipe that you kind of um, add that to the recipe. I added the pomegranate seeds for color since I don't have the pretty purple endive. So the recipe is super simple. Um, I had my goat cheese, a log of goat cheese also. Um, I put it in the freezer for a little bit so that it's easier to chop up and doesn't crumble as well or crumble as much as I'm making it. So super simple guys, all you're going to do is peel off the endive, use um, probably a sharper knife so you can kind of get a nice little chunk, smear it in, and then I'm going to actually make a couple with the goat cheese here. I've already got a bunch plated over here for you. I'm going to show you how super simple this is, and then you can just cover your platter with um, a little bit of saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator and it's ready for your party. So I have a party that I'm going to later this afternoon. It's called Friendsgiving, so I'll be taking this. Um, it'll be ready for me. So I'm gonna just put a little piece of dry fig here and on this one, a couple of pomegranate seeds for color and crunch. If you guys haven't had pomegranate seeds, they're crunchy also. A little pecan there. And then I'm gonna kind of switch out my platter here so you guys can kind of see the finished product of the super simple Appetizer. All right, so here is my platter, so you guys can see this now. Um, I'm going to take my honey, and so your kids could probably do this too, be fun for them, and drizzle it with honey. Woo! And then just some cracked pepper. I would suggest if you use the white endive to have a colored plate. Um, I also added some mint and some grapes, so you guys can see how beautiful and simple that was. All right, so a couple other things I wanted to tell you guys. Some people don't think that goat cheese is healthy. Um, on the meal plan that I follow, the nutrition plan that I follow, you get to eat cheese, you get to drink wine, you get to eat cheese and crackers. Um, so I have goat cheese almost every day. This is a little blue container. Um, it's a third of a cup. The meal plan that we follow uh, gives you pre-portioned containers to so make sure you're not eating too much of any one um, food group. So this is a third of a cup of goat cheese. Um, let me grab my little knife here and scoop it out for you. Come on. So you can kind of just see how much that is. So it's a third of a cup. 
So on this meal plan, I get a third a cup of goat cheese every day if I want with some crackers and some wine. So I don't have that every day. You know, wine is kind of a little cheat that we save for, that I save for the weekend at least. But don't think that just because cheese is high in fat that you can't have it on a meal plan um, and still lead a happy, healthy life. So um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I'm so excited for this group. We are kind of lining out a complete Thanksgiving meal for you guys, which is just amazing. Um, I wish I had this when I was first starting um, to make my own Thanksgiving meals. But if you have any questions for me, um, it's super simple. You could probably do a couple of other different lettuces um, or smaller lettuces, or you can even do the same thing on like a little crostini if you have a nice baguette. Um, but it's super simple. I can cover this. Um, with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and it's ready for my party at 6.30 tonight. I just have to pull it out, grab my bottle of wine, and go, and I am done. It literally took me from start to finish probably 15 minutes. Um, and again, the end dive, you don't have to soak it like a lettuce. You just have to kind of wash the outside because it's grown in sand. Who knew? Um, so we're so glad to have you guys, and um, please reach out if you have any questions. I see some comments. I'm just going to walk up here and make sure that there aren't any questions. Raw honey is the best. Yes, it is, Maggie. I see Becca's watching also, and Helen. Um, so you can find it at your local farmer market or local store. So um, those of you guys that are in Charleston, I know Boone Hall. Um, I live close to Boone Hall. We also have they also have a lot of local honey. Um, this one was at Publix, so there is some raw honey at some of the Publix and probably Harris Teeter here in the area. Um, and this one is southeast, so you always want to try to get a honey that that is close to you um, where you live because it also helps fight allergies um, and helps boost your immune system. So honey is a great superfood. Um, and it's something that you can and certainly have on a as a healthy lifestyle. So I think that's it, you guys. But this is super um, fun, super easy. It is ready for me to go later this afternoon. Um, we are heading out for a busy Saturday afternoon. Um, and I am confident knowing that I have a yummy appetizer, healthy appetizer to take to a um, dinner tonight. Okay? Thanks so much, guys. Have a great Saturday.